All right, welcome back to Teal House Farm. Got Ivy with me. We are gonna be doing what I have put off to last possible minute, which is get our strawberry raised bed, that one, ready for the strawberry runners that are coming tomorrow. So, hey, loud mouths. Um, anyway, but hey, I got a new microphone. So we're gonna test it out with this video and I hope it works really well. Otherwise this whole video will be a voiceover if it doesn't. So anyway, we have to reinforce the bed first. We've built the frame, but it needs reinforced to make sure that the weight of the dirt doesn't blow it apart. Okay, microphone is attached. It's supposed to reduce wind sounds and it's really windy today. So let's hope it works. Okay, we built these two raised beds last year and they are like two and a half feet tall and it was kind of expensive to fill them. So they're filled halfway or a third of the way with just debris from our property, third of the way with compost, and the last third is like fill dirt and potting soil and compost mix. This is the new one that we built for the strawberries. You notice it's shorter with the idea that it'll be less expensive to fill. It also, it used all the materials I'd left. I didn't have to buy anything, so it was free to make. And it needs to be reinforced. We're gonna put a bar across the middle and that'll help it withstand the pressure and the weight of the um, dirt better. These all have that support bar in them as well. You can tell it is not perfectly straight. Part of that's because it's on, everything on our property is a little bit up a hill. So it's really hard to find a flat spot and also it's put it together really quickly. So it's not perfectly square, but it should work just fine. We're going to use this 2x4 to make the support bar and this is a try now or ask forgiveness later. Sam bought this 2x4 for a project like three months ago and never did the project so I'm commandeering it and uh, he's taking a nap right now with the littles so I'm not going to wake him up and ask if I can use it but if he really was planning on doing that project soon I will just go to town tomorrow and buy him another 2x4. Alright Ivy let's measure it. Ivy has her own toolbox and it's got a lot of neat things in it. It's a kid's toolbox, but it's actually real tools. It's pretty sweet. And she pulls out her measuring tape and we go ahead and figure out the distance between the two posts, mark it on our two by four. And then I could put the effort to get the saw horses out, but it's just one cut. So I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna use the stump. It'll be just fine. Ivy hasn't used a circular saw before. I usually cut for the girls, but I think she's old enough to give it a try. and we give it a quick cut. She does great, nice and straight. We're gonna go ahead and screw this in between the two posts about midway down. I don't have any wood screws, so we're using drywall screws, but it'll be fine. These are not meant to last forever. If we really wanted these boxes to last forever, we would have gone out and bought really good materials, but we're trying to do this for free right now, so we're just using what we have on hand. I'm hoping to get three to four years out of these boxes, which I think will definitely happen. They look great. It's got its support beam in the middle, so we need to go ahead and start filling it. We're doing a Hugel Culture inspired fill, so the bottom third of this box is going to be branches, dead leaves, things like that, twigs, just debris from around the farm. And then between all that debris, once we get filled up with the debris, we're gonna go ahead and pack some old hay. So we bought some hay for our sheep last year. We just had a little bit left over and the chickens and the cats have been kind of using it as nesting and bedding. And so I don't think we wanna feed it to our new sheep this year. So we're just gonna throw it on the bottom of the bed to fill in the crevices. And then as this decomposes, it will keep the soil inside the beds nice and fertile. Next up, we go up to the barn and we're going to pull out our compost from last year's sheep bedding and add that to our box.
I look like a real YouTuber with my microphone set up and my cool new tripod. I'm going places, huh? Yep. All right, so while we're doing this, Sam is doing his favorite spring activity, right? Oh, yeah. It is called Lawnmower Roulette. I don't think you see the lawnmower behind you. And it's where we guess if the lawnmower is really broken this year or if it's just acting stupid. What's your bet on? Uh, I don't know, because... I mowed for a little bit and the lawnmower did fine. It started right up first thing. And then after like 30 or 40 minutes of mowing, it stopped and it wouldn't start for me again. So I'm trying to clean the carburetor. And if that doesn't work, I don't know. I don't know what to do. That's the end of your lawnmower mechanic expertise? Pretty much. So I think it's just stupid. You think it's just stupid? Yeah. You want us to get a riding lawnmower so you can ride it, don't yeah. you? It's probably not going to happen, huh? In other sad news, that fancy dancy microphone that I bought lasted about 20 minutes of vlogging. That is not, it is hard to tell from here, it's not fixable. It, it broke out all the way of the port. You can't put it back in. So, that was a waste of money, Ivy. Uh, that I can sell you something that I do not recommend, and it's whatever brand microphone this is. I'm gonna get a different one. Alright, let's go finish with our old cheap mic. I'm hot and sweaty too. That was hard work, huh? You did good. All right, so this is what we got. So bottom layer is the Hugo Culture with the sticks and straw and all that stuff. And then there's our compost on top. And now for the final piece de resistance. <laughs> We're going to add uh, what's going to be two of each of these. So we, the red is filter and the purple is potting soil. So we're going to put two on each side. So that doesn't make sense what I'm saying. We're going to put a bag of red and a bag of purple on this half of the bed and a bag of red and a bag of purple on that half of the bed and I'll mix it all in with the compost and then we should be good for this year. Obviously this is going to settle a lot and then we're going to have to do more work next year which I'm not quite sure how that works with strawberries. I guess they just kind of sink in but we'll uh, play by ear. So let's do that. Not water. They actually need to cut it down. Oh, there's a worm in there. <gasps> Yay! Hey! Because there's already a hole in the bag. He helped himself. <laughs> What's wrong? Get it. It's in there. It's in there. It's in Can you? It'd be funny if you added that. Okay, Ivy and I completed the first half. Sam went down to the farm store and got me two more bags, so we'll complete the second half. And then this will be ready for tomorrow when our strawberry runners are here. And good news, he also fixed the lawnmower, believe it or not. So he went down to the farm store and he bought a couple of new spark plugs and that did the trick. So it didn't need a good clean out of the carburetor, but at least that's done anyway. It's nice and sparkly, shiny on the inside and he got the front lawn mowed which is great because we were pretty far behind on mowing. There's still a lot to mow, but at least the front of the house looks nice. And now we're going to finish up for an early dinner. So it's Sunday, and if you've been around here before, you know Sunday nights I don't, I don't cook. I don't cook from scratch on Sunday nights. We still cook at home. But Sunday nights is always frozen pizza night. And uh, it's the one night of the week where I don't have to like plan a meal or anything. It's the same thing every week. It's also, consequently, the one night a week where everybody's happy with dinner and nobody complains because everybody likes pizza. Um, however, cost-wise, it is not cost-effective at all, but I feel like my mental health and getting a break is worth it. So, just in case you're curious, around here, meals usually work out to be about 50 to 80 cents a person um, from what it cooks. I'm, I'm really big on frugal cooking, buying things in bulk and canning them and then having available to keep the costs down. Some meals are even cheaper than that. Just depends what I'm making. But on average, 50 to 80 cents for a family of nine, eight are eating food, food. And uh, that's what it comes out to. 
this meal costs, depending on if I can get pizzas on sale, costs somewhere between $2.50 a person up to $4 a person. So like this week I got the three frozen pizzas were on sale. Um, and I don't buy, like, I don't buy the name, name brand pizzas either. I buy like the midline pizza. So I'm not buying DiGiorno's. Um, but anyway, they were on sale. So it was $15 for the three pizzas. And then I always get strawberries and blueberries because those are the kids' favorites. Those were $3 a pack. And then I get a bagged salad mix for Sam and I so that I don't have to make a salad from scratch. I just dump and mix. All of that together came out to be about $20. $25 and then you divide that by eight people you're somewhere I guess around 275 to three dollars a person so it's pretty expensive comparatively but it's worth it to me to be able to have that little bit of break and just there's not a big there aren't pots and big pots and pans to clean up it's real simple everybody's happy it takes 15 minutes to make dinner so I hope you all uh, enjoyed we'll have our strawberries next Next time, um, my friend Adrienne is bringing us runners from her house. She's going to show us how she transplants them because I've never actually transplanted strawberries from runners. I'm assuming it's pretty easy, but she's going to show us how she does it because she's had great success with it before. And I'm excited to have a raised bed of strawberries this year. See you guys all really soon.